Uh, in this lesson, I'm just going to show you how to set up your MIDI controller in Persona Studio One. So I've already fired up um, Studio One, and I'm already in an empty song. Um, you don't need to open up a song to do this. I can do it um, just the same from the opening screen uh, from here. Um, I've already got my USB cable plugged in, and it's plugged into my MIDI controller ready to go. Um, it's kind of important that you plug it in before you fire up Studio One. Um, and that just gives Studio One a chance to go, oh, there's something there. Um, so with your MIDI keyboard already plugged in, you fire up Studio One, and then under the Studio One menu, and then down to Options. Um, on a Mac, I believe it's Studio One and then Preferences, not Options, and the menu is sort of over this side, so Studio One Preferences. On a PC, Studio One Options. Um, and then that'll bring up this dialog box here. Now, you won't have anything in there. That'll be completely empty when you go in because you haven't installed or set up a MIDI keyboard yet. But to set up a MIDI keyboard, all we need to do is click on Add, um, which will bring up this dialog box here. Sorry, I've got a second screen there, so they're actually opening up on my other screen. Um, if you've just got one screen, it'll open up right there where you can see it. Currently, this one is named New Keyboard. You can leave that, or you can call it um, whatever you like and it'll just um, come up as that device name when you look at it in your options. And all you have to do to get going is use this little drop down to select whatever keyboard it is that you have plugged in at that time. Um, if there's nothing there, that means Windows is not recognizing that you have a keyboard plugged in, so then you need to check that your keyboard's turned on or that you've got your USB plugged in at both ends and that sort of thing. Um, in this case, I've got my USB cable plugged in I've got my Samson uh, Carbon 49, and you need to make sure you do both of these drop downs. So receive from and send to Samson Carbon 49, and then your keyboard is set up, ready to use in Studio One. You just need to click OK. Um, there it is, and it's ready to go. I click OK. All right, I can double check that it's connected and it's working by creating a new song. Um, it can just be an empty song. Click OK. Um, choose an instrument um, that you know that Personas has sounds for. So it can be any instrument. Um, you just pull it in, pull it in like this. It'll add a new track. Um, it'll bring up this screen here. You can just close that one. And see how we can see some orange metering happening there when I press the keys. So I know. So that I know that that's now working. And that's it.